Now if you do go ahead and get into Visual Basic application code to help out with your database, customize it a bit more than just what we have here with what I've taught you in Access Level 1 through 4, you may want to protect your code. In other words, put a password to it to prevent unauthorized users from deleting, editing, or copying your VBA code. To do that, come up here, click on the Database Tools tab to the Macro Group and click on your Visual Basic button. Come up here, click on the Tools menu and go down and find the keyword Properties. Mine says just data. Yours might say something else like, well, Dreamforce or whatever you have. But again, we're looking for properties. Click on it. Come to the Protection tab. I want to lock the project for viewing and then type in a password. And then type it in again to confirm it. Hit Enter on the keyboard. And then go ahead and close out of your database. Well, first of all, file to close and return to access. And then go ahead and click on the Office logo button down to close database. Then come over. Again, it's one of my recent files here, integration, click on it to open it back up and let's see what happens when I go to the database tools tab and click on the visual basic and the macro group and try to double click and expand over here in the navigation pane for the macros and you can see I get a password prompt so if I don't have the password I can't view the macros or the visual basic coding. Go ahead and type in the password, hit enter, it opens up, it reveals the uh, folder with all the codes that are tied to these different forms where I can double click and view the uh, VBA code. To get rid of it, well again, tools to, in this case, just data properties, go to the protection tab, uncheck it, delete the passwords, click OK, file to close and return and the password is no longer needed for your VBA code or to view it. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.